YouTube, what's going on? Back in the latest video, back another mystery box. This one is from Smile World. This was a $30 damage mystery box from Smile World uh, with guaranteed value, I believe. Not sure how many pops they say were in per box, but they did have some pretty cool grails in their collection. So I decided to order four. I'm gonna break them up into two videos. So I'm gonna unbox two today and two in a future video, so stay tuned for that. So let's get right into these boxes and see what we got. Here we go. All right, guys, so before we get into these boxes, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you get updates on my most recent content and hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this box or these boxes for $30 each plus shipping and uh, they were damaged mystery boxes so they might have some slight damage on them. Uh, the top grails in the boxes uh, were some co cool Disney ones in there that I remember. They had Pumbaa. They had Edna from Incredibles. They also had Chernabog, which is, I think, the top grail, the one I wanted the most, and the reason why I ordered it. So hoping that th that is in here. So let's open these boxes up and see what we got. So I know that we had like they had the Disney ones in there, and I don't know what else they have, but really excited to see what's in here. So my world's been good for me in the past, and. Um, you know, hopefully there's some good things in here. So, 30 bucks, can't really go too wrong with them. So they're each individually bubble wrapped, it seems like. I don't know if I can tell how many are in here, but let me see. We'll do this one first. Number one. All right, so that is JFK, John F. Kennedy, American History Pop. Uh, this isn't really my kind of pop, uh, just because I'm not really a huge fan of collecting American History figures. You know, that's just my thing. I know a lot of people were feeling this line. Um, I wasn't alive when JFK was the president, so I can't really relate too much. Um, but it looks like him, I guess. Um, they also have Jackie O, uh, Jimmy Carter, and Ronald Reagan back there. Um, if you guys like this line, let me know down in the comment section below. At first, I thought Funko um, was going to be a huge miss by making these, but it seems like a lot of people did like them. Um, but this guy, JFK, is going for... 11 bucks. So not a bad start for $30 box. We have $19 more to go. And uh, yeah, if anybody's looking for this one, I'm sure it'd be available on the site, popsavage.shop at some point if you're interested. All right, so moving right along, let's see. All right, so the second pop, Smokey the Bear. All right, so this is just a common Smokey the Bear. Um, I thought this was the one that was with Funko Shop and uh, also GameStop. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one doesn't have a sticker. I think Hot Topic was a shared one. The regular one was a common. Uh, I think there's a common one as well. I think there's a common, I think there's a Funko Shop one, and a GameStop uh, shared exclusive based on what I saw on the app uh, before. Uh, if you guys know anything about that, drop down in the comment section below. Let me scan this guy and see how much he's going for. Uh, this thing's not coming up. But this Smokey the Bear is going for 10 bucks, and it just says it's a regular ad icon. So. I do believe I have a Smokey the Bear somewhere around here, and it just has a sticker, and there's no difference. Um, I'll have to check that out, but if you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. But there you go, second pop is Smokey the Bear at Icon. All right, let's so move right along. I think there's two more pops in here, so let's see. Here is number three. Number three. All right, so this is a Dragon Ball Z pop. This is not the Chase, this is the regular PX exclusive. Uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's one I already have. I definitely like the Gohan Super Saiyan 2 more than Vegeta. Uh, the chase is pretty dope. It just glows in the dark, but I am a sucker for glowing in dark pops. Um, I don't believe this one's incredibly valuable just because of the chase. Most people are looking for the chase instead of the common. And uh, almost everywhere had this um, for a pre order. My pre order still didn't come in yet, so I still have a chance to get a chase. I ordered two of them, so still waiting to get them. But this pop's going for nine bucks, which is uh, pretty much what I thought. Again, this is a duplicate. The chase is going for 55 bucks. Hopefully, I can get that at some point in my pre order. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Vegeta for nine bucks. If anybody's looking for it, let me know, because like I said, it is a duplicate. All right, so there's one final pop in here. Let's see what we got, and then we'll get into the second box. Number four. All right, so we have the pink and white Harley Quinn. Okay, so this is not the Diamond exclusive. So the Diamond exclusive one I have pulled in the past, but this is just the regular one. 
Uh, this looks like it's from 2015, uh, so that's pretty cool. It's probably a Volta Pop. You see that Hot Top exclusive sticker right there. Uh, you guys know before, like I'm not a huge DC fan, and when I do collect the DC Pops, I like having this, like the regular um, costume for them, so I'm not sure the pink one will stick around. Um, but let me see if I can find out what she's going for. He doesn't have a scan thing down there, so I'm gonna have to enter this one in manually. All right, so this Harley Quinn's going for 14 bucks, so not bad at all. We definitely got our guaranteed value out of that box. And uh, some pretty cool ones in there. Um, like I said, I mean, the, the, unfortunately, there's a, the Dragon Ball Z one's a duplicate. But nonetheless, some pretty cool ones and not ones I still see in the store. Um, even though I, that Smokey the Bear might be in the store, I have not at least seen it. So pretty cool, but we do have another box to get into, so let's open that box up. All right, so moving on to the second box. Let's see if we can get some grails in here. Uh, like I said, the last box was not really any grails, nothing huge ticket item. So hopefully this box can change that. So let's open this one up first. Here is the first pop. All right, so we have Sybil Trelawney from Harry Potter. So um, I do remember her. She was actually the like astrology teacher from Harry Potter. Um, she was definitely in the, the books a little bit more than the movies. She was in the movie for like a couple seconds. I think the actor who played her was actually the same actor who played Nanny McPhee on the movies, if you guys have ever seen that movie. Um, but she's going for six bucks, so not incredibly expensive. I do collect the Harry Potter pops, or at least some of them. I don't have her, so she's definitely a keeper to me, especially at six bucks. Um, you can't beat getting uh, a cool pop like that. You know, I like to collect more of the Harry Potter ones. Uh, this line that they did with the Goblet of Fire ones with the Yule Ball pops, I just wasn't really feeling them. I don't need Harry in a Yule Ball uh, outfit or any of the other ones as well. Um, but she's pretty cool, and Falks were cool, so definitely glad to have this in the collection now. So, first pop is a uh, Sybil Trelawney. All right, pretty cool one. Not mad at that one at all. All right, so number two, let's see what we got here. Second pop. All right, so this is R2-D2. Okay, it's the Jabba Skiff Smuggler's Bounty exclusive R2-D2. That one's pretty cool. Um, I don't really know what's going on in this one um, just because I don't really remember um, R2 having anything like that on him in any of the older movies at least um, But this one looks pretty cool. Looks like almost like he has a robot IV going on. I have no idea what that is um, But his R2 detail is going for 10 bucks. So not bad. Um, I know I'm not like a huge Star Wars collector But a lot of these smugglers bounty ones are pretty cool looking and they do a good job with the molds and this one's no exception So second pop we have R2D2 from Star Wars All right Moving right along, still looking for that grail. Something really good to add to the collection. Uh, let's see, here's the third one. Get this bubble wrap off. All right, number three. This one's cool, what's this? This is Batman, Batman Damned. This is the PX exclusive Batman. Um, I've never seen this one before. This one, I think I've seen this costume before, like the movies or on the toys I've had growing up, um, but I don't, really know too much about this one so if you guys know in the comment section down below drop down uh, some info but like I said this is a PX exclusive um, interestingly enough the PX exclusives are exclusive like the comic book stores they, they drop them through there none of the comic book shops I've been to in my area have I seen a PX exclusive so uh, if you guys see them I think they're still pretty rare just because I don't see them having but a lot of online retailers do get them but this one's pretty cool he's going for 16 bucks so not bad at all. I think we're almost at our guaranteed value already with the three pops so far. Um, but this one's pretty dope. Um, Batman the Damned P exclusive number three. All right, so we have one final chance at a grail. Hopefully this is a grail. We can pull something really cool for the collection. Uh, like I said, I want to get that Cherm uh, Chernabog or Edna. Um, those are the top two ones I was looking to add in the collection that I saw. And Pumbaa was cool as well. But let's see. You guys know I'm a sucker for Disney Grail Pops or bolted ones. So let's see if that's one. Number four. That is not a Disney Grail at all. Uh, this is Tokoyami uh, from My Hero Academia. Um, I have this one already. It's one of the better ones from this line back here. The second wave of My Hero Academia Pops. Um, but like I said, it's a duplicate, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I'll keep this one because mine is actually out of the box. So I don't have one in box, so maybe I'll keep it for that reason. Um, I'm not sure how much he is, but I'm pretty sure he's not expensive at all because I do believe he's still in stores. Uh, Tokoyami's going for seven bucks. So yeah, like I said, just a regular common. Um, I like the metallic one better um, from GameStop that came with a t-shirt, but this one's still pretty, pretty dope. And uh, definitely any My Hero Academia collector is a must have. So there you go, the final pop is Tokoyami from My Hero Academia.
All right, guys, so I definitely believe we got our uh, $60 in guarantee value between the two boxes. Here's the total value right there. Drop down in the comment section below what your favorite one was from these boxes. Uh, I think mine was probably the Harry Potter one just because it's one I didn't already have and fits into my collection. But let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you're not already. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.